Hi, my name is Dave Matzorf with Rego Consulting, and today we're going to learn how to execute a Zog. So I have my Zog client installed on my 13 environment, and I have opened a Windows Explorer and navigated to my Zog directory. Today I want to Zog out a resource record, so I'm going to go into my XML directory, and I'm going to grab the Zog template that corresponds to a resource read, which means that I will be reading a resource from Clarity. I prefer to always copy the Zog templates out of the XML directory and place them in my bin directory to execute the Zog. So I've now copied my file into my bin directory, which is where the Zog will be executed. I'm going to open up my Zog template. I always prefer to open in either Notepad or WordPad, or if you use Notepad++, you can use that as well. So you have, within your Zog read template, you have a series of arguments that you can pass the Zog. Arguments tell Zog what information from the resource record to include or exclude from the output. You can see in this case we have the ability to include or exclude contact information, management information, any custom attributes that you may have added to your resource object, or any financial data associated with the resource. By default, all of this information will be included because the value of the argument is true. If you want to exclude any of the information, you can change the value of any one of these arguments to false, and that piece of information will not be exported through the Zog. You also have the ability within the query tag of the XML template to filter for certain resources. Zog includes in its templates certain attributes that we can filter on, such as the role ID of the resource, filter for active or inactive resources, a specific resource type, or what we're going to be using today, which is the ID of the resource. You'll see also that there are different criteria that you can use. Uh, in this case, there is criteria for equals and or contained within this Zog template. If you're using equals, you'll notice that you can enter one specific value, whereas or allows a comma-separated list of values. Today we're going to be filtering for just one resource, so I'm going to come to my resource ID. I'm going to change the or to an equals, and I am going to filter for the admin resource of Clarity. This resource ID corresponds to the ID or the unique name as it's sometimes referred on the resource record. You'll also notice that there's an XML comment here that is commenting out the first few lines of my Zog filter so only this fourth line is going to apply in my filter. I'm going to save this file and close it. And then I'm going to go log into my Zog client. So I have a command prompt open and I've navigated to my Zog bin directory. And I'm going to execute the command of Zog, which is going to launch my Zog client. I have a specific user set up for this Zog that we can see if we go into the admin menu, resources, and filter for a name of Zog. This is the user that we're going to be executing the Zog as. You'll also notice on this user, if you look at their global rights, that they have all of the security permissions to be able to execute Zogs. So getting back to our command prompt, we can execute our login command, which is login followed by the username of the resource that you're executing the Zog as, forward slash, and the password of the user, followed by the at symbol, and the URL of the environment which you're executing the Zog against. Once you finish entering the full URL and port, you can press enter, and you will get a login succeeded if you were successful with your login. At this point, I want to specify an output file, since every Zog, whether it's a read or write, produces an output file. Uh, for simplicity, I'm going to name it ZZ, so it shows up at the bottom of my Microsoft uh, Windows Explorer page, and I'm going to give it an XML file type. So I'm now going to execute the call command from my Zog client to call the file rsm resources read.xml 
which is the file that we edited to filter for the admin user. If I execute this, I will get a status of Zog processing completed, and you can see that we have a new XML file in our bin directory that will contain the output from the Zog file. This output can be opened in Notepad or WordPad or any XML editor that you can that you use. You can see the contents of the Zog containing the resource ID, the resource type, the username. And since we kept all our arguments to true, you can see tags for personal information containing the resource's name, email address. There will also be another tag for custom information, financial information, and so on for all of the arguments that we left to true. That is how you would execute a Zog read from a Clarity environment. Thanks.